Hi, and welcome back to the Watch Report powered by Watchbox. I'm your host, Zach Rego, and today we're gonna cover some recent news in the watch industry. I've got just one question for you. Are you ready for SIHH World 2020? I hope you are, because starting April 2020, SIHH and Basel World will be occurring back to back. Now, all of you horology enthusiasts can spend 10 straight days in Switzerland looking at beautiful watches, eating Swiss chocolates, and drinking all of the Swiss wine that you can get your hands on. Historically, SIHH had always been held in January, while Basel World had always taken place in March, making professionals, press, and clients have to fly to Switzerland twice in one year and only a few weeks apart. Ugh, going to Switzerland twice a year just sounds like torture. Now attendees will be able to attend SIHH from April 26th to April 29th and can hop on over to Basel World from April 30th to May 5th. This can be looked at as a good or a bad thing in my opinion. It can be looked at as a good because it will allow visitors to be in Switzerland for 10 straight days instead of planning two different trips, saving time and money. It could also potentially be a bad thing. I say that because having that many watch lovers in Switzerland for 10 straight days could cause the country to burn down from all of the partying. Not sure if there actually is any partying, I've never gotten an invite. In another pre-SIHH announcement, Vacheron has just announced the piece unique, the Cabinotier Armillary Tourbillon Snake. It's really not that big of a deal, Vacheron has only filed six different patents for this timepiece. The 45mm rose gold watch is equipped with a double retrograde armillary tourbillon and is constructed with silicon for the pallet lever and escape wheel and aluminum for the tourbillon carriage, making this watch more precise and durable. I mean, look at this thing. It's an animal. Literally, it is an animal with a hand engraved snake slithering along the sides of the case. As if this watch wasn't wild enough for you as it is, the watch also comes in a Macassar ebony box, which is an extremely expensive and hard to source type of wood. Now I know that there are some crazy people out there who just end up throwing out the boxes their watches come in. If the person who buys this watch plans on doing that with this box, you can bet that I will be dumpster diving for it because the box can probably pay my rent for all of 2019. And now for some celebrity watches as seen on Celebrity Watch Spotter. Boxer Anthony Joshua was seen wearing a rose gold 25th anniversary Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Tourbillon reference 264210R, which retails for roughly 386,000 US dollars. This 45 millimeter watch is limited to just 50 pieces, so you may actually have to beat someone up in order to get one. When asked about how it was working with Anthony to get him the timepiece, the AP boutique salesman stated, he was really nice and I'm glad we could find him the piece. Uh, oh, what's wrong with my eye? I, I tripped and fell onto Joshua's fist. It was a total accident. Rapper Jay-Z was recently spotted wearing a Jacob & Co. Black Caviar Tourbillon, reference CV20130 BBBBA, which retails for roughly 734,000 US dollars. This 47 mm watch is limited to just three pieces and is set with 424 black baguettes, which is the perfect beater for those Sunday morning strolls to the grocery store. It seems like both Jay-Z and Brian Govberg have very much in common, as I once saw Brian wear his Patek Philippe 5712 as a beater while cutting his lawn. I'm just kidding, Brian doesn't cut his own lawn. I do. John Mayer is back again with another watch spotting. The singer was recently seen wearing a Tudor Black Bay GMT Pepsi, reference M79830RB, which retails for 3,900 US dollars. 
This is quite an unusual wear for Mayer, as he is usually seen wearing some sort of AP Turbion or a Patek Philippe Perpetual Chrono, but no, the singer was instead wearing a Tudor, which I personally love to see. Then again, this isn't just some Tudor. This particular 41mm stainless steel watch is actually very hard to find new, but what does a phrase like hard to get even mean to a guy like John Mayer? I mean the man has dated Katy Perry, Jennifer Aniston, Jessica Simpson, and even was rumored to have dated Kim Kardashian for a brief stint. One thing I do know is that the relationship between John Mayer and his watches has proved that John Mayer can at least commit to something. Congratulations to last week's contest winner, Akash Gupta, for being the first to correctly guess the A. Langa and Zona double split reference 404.035 that I was wearing in last week's episode. The first person to comment the correct brand and reference of the watch I'm wearing this week will be getting some free watch swag sent their way. I'm Zach Rego, and this has been The Watch Report. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to click the bell for the latest updates in watch content. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.